Good Friday morning. Good Friday morning. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good Friday morning. Thank God it's Friday. I just wanted to come in and talk to you for a brief second this Friday morning. Hope you're having a wonderful, super blessed Friday. I wanted to just give you a couple of words that's on my heart this morning. Um, knowing when to celebrate. Knowing when to celebrate. Knowing when to celebrate. You know, um, we can go through many trials and tribulations in our lives. Um, for those of you that watch my channel, you know that I've been through a trial and tribulation for this whole past year and two weeks um, since my daughter passed away. But I want to talk to you today on this Good Friday morning, knowing when to celebrate. God put it on my heart to tell you all, when you're going through your trials and tribulations, first of all, just know that you are not alone. Even when you're going through your trial and your tribulation, God is going to give you a sense of peace that surpasses all understanding. You know, there'll be times that you're like, how am I going to get through this, Lord? When is it going to be over? Am I going to be okay? Am I going to make it through? If you keep your hand in God's, keep your faith in God's, you're going to be all right. God won't put any trial on you that you cannot make it through because he's going to carry you. You know, the Lord himself was tempted by Satan. And each time, each time he was tempted by Satan in those 40 days and nights, he used the word of God against the enemy. And that's what I want you to do. Each time you're tempted or while and during your trial and tribulation, I want you to use the word of God. i tell you something I saw recently. Um, the pastor was Pastor Joseph Prince. And he said, now let me tell you this story, true story. I was laying in my bed and I was turned over in my bed like that with my eyes closed under the covers. And I just had it on Joseph Prince's program because I love the way he ministers. And he said, call on 911. And I was laying there with my eyes closed and I went, and then I raised up out the bed. And he said, call on 911. Call, I want you to call on 911. And then I said, what? And then I raised up because it piqued my interest. I was like, call on 911, huh? Raised up off under my covers and I sat up in my bed. And <laughs> y'all, he said, Psalms 91, verse 1. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Psalms 91, verse 1. Call on 911. Come on now. And I promise you, I read Psalms 91 every day. I've, I've done that for many years now. I even have it memorized. I say it all day, every day. But when Pastor Joseph Prince says, I need for you to call 911, Psalms 91. Verse 1, 9, 1, 1. And no one went to celebrate, getting back to that. While you're going through your trial and your tribulation, you're going through your valley, just remember, you're not alone. Because Jesus was tempted too by Satan. And Satan knew that Jesus was going to be something and someone great, and he is. And just know that you will come through too. And um, one thing I got to tell you, though, knowing when to celebrate. As soon as you start that trial and tribulation, go ahead and celebrate then. If I would have known what I know now, looking back a year and two weeks later, I would have already been celebrating. Go ahead and celebrate. Knowing when to celebrate. Celebrate the fact. That you've got God in your life. Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. 
and celebrate that fact now even if you're not in a trial or tribulation today celebrate the fact that God is your Lord and Savior can nobody or nothing take him and them the tree oh from you ever they are forever with you in your heart yes because you have been adopted by the Lord and that's something that sometimes we forget to celebrate we go through life every day. We like, thank God for food. Thank God my car crunk up today. Thank God for money in the bank. But we forget to celebrate the source who is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And one thing I have truly come to realize, if I don't have the Lord, I don't have anything. There is no peace. There is no joy. There is nothing so knowing when to celebrate, celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ every day because he is our all. And don't be afraid to share who he is in your life. You tell everybody today, I'm celebrating. What you celebrating? Ain't no special day. Yeah, it is because I know the Lord and I've got the Lord with me. Most important thing you can say. All right. Just thought I would share that with you today. I was going to share uh, some fried fish <laughs> because I have been craving some fried fish and fried green tomatoes. And I got them laid out back here too. I got my green tomatoes laid out. Well, they done turned red now. So let me show them to y'all. Hold on. They started out green. <laughs> A couple of days ago, they were green. And, I mean, they were totally green, you can tell. But just in a couple of days, I left them out and that air hit them, so now they've got that red on them. But they're still quite firm. I'm going to cook them anyway, so I got my fish fry mix. I'm ready to fry my fish. Yes, I am. Y'all know I get excited about food. But anyways, I'm going to fry them tomatoes. They ain't green no more, but I'm still frying. But knowing when to celebrate. Now is the time to celebrate. Just just, just tell God that you love him. You thank him that he'll never leave you. Because he won't. And uh, share what you're going to have uh, this Friday with me. I love when y'all leave me comments. I appreciate that. And um, knowing when to celebrate. Now is the time to celebrate. That you have the Lord Jesus Christ in your life and that he's, he's never going to leave you. And you can have a good Friday on that. Alright, talk to you later. Be blessed and know that the Lord loves you and he will never leave you. Be blessed.